What the fuck is up? Welcome back. My name is Noah Hills. You can find me on Twitter at No More Parties. And I'm back this week with a 5x5 flex play of player prop bets over on Prize Picks. Last week for the Bills Rams kickoff of the 2022 season, we went four for five. We went five for seven if you count my honorable mention props. Uh, but the main main bets, four for five, pretty nice, doubled our money. This week we're doing it again. The bit is it's it's five picks on prize picks. You could do you could do two, you could do three, you could do four. We're going five. We're trying to 10x our money. Let's see if we can do it this week. The first play that I like this week in the Chiefs Chargers matchup is Mike Williams. His receiving line is 58.5 yards over on prize picks. I'm taking the over. In his career, when playing at least 80% of the snaps, Mike Williams has averaged 57.7 yards per game in those games. His line this week, 58 and a half yards. He just needs to go like two more yards than he usually does when playing a large portion of the snaps this week. He's hit 59 plus in 14 out of 30 career games with at least 80% snap participation. He's averaged 68 yards per game in his career when he plays at least 80% of the snaps and when the Chargers score at least 25 team points. The over under in this game is 54 and a half the Chargers are right now slated to lose by three and a half, giving them an implied total of 25.5. So even if we give them the under on that, in games when they score at least 25 points and when Mike Williams plays a large percentage a large percentage of the snaps, he typically goes for almost 70 receiving yards and he's gone for 59 plus in eight out of 12 career games in which he's played 80% of the snaps in which the Chargers have scored 25 or more points. Last week, he played 92% of the snaps, ran 91% of the routes, and this week there's probably no Keenan Allen. He got hurt last week. It's looking like he's not going to play at least as of this recording, which is on Tuesday. Either the Chargers are going to get their ass completely kicked by the Chiefs or this is going to be a competitive game in which case, like, somebody on the Chargers is going to produce, and the most likely guy to do that, in the absence of Keenan Allen, is Mike Williams. The next line I like is Austin Eckler, 37.5 receiving yards. Once again, I'm taking the over, no Keenan Allen. In games in his career, in which Austin Eckler has played at least 50% of the snaps, he averages 50 receiving yards per game. Throughout his he's had 30 games like that. He's hit 38 plus in 21 of those games, and in games where he plays at least half of the snaps, and when the Chargers score at least 25 points, he averages 45 receiving yards per game. Like, he, he just catches the ball, especially when he plays a lot, and especially when the Chargers are moving the ball on offense. He missed this line by only two yards last week when he only had three targets in a game with less offense than this one is going to have. He needs five targets to hit this based on his career yards per target numbers. He earned five plus targets in 28 out of 36 career games in which he's played at least 50% of the snaps, and he averages 6.9 targets per game when he does play at least 50% of the snaps. Last week was a little bit of a weird game. They were, they were up by two touchdowns touchdowns at halftime. Eckler ran the ball quite a bit in the second half. They didn't need to throw as much as, as you know, maybe we would have thought or as probably as much as they're going to need to this week. And so I like Austin Eckler to go over 37 and a half receiving yards this week. And because of that, and because of the, the kind of transition in game script from last week to what I think it's going to be this week, the third line I like is Austin Eckler under 13 rushing attempts. He's had 14 or more rushing attempts in just 15 out of 73 career games. That's just over 21% of his games. And he's had 14 or more rush attempts in 14 out of 36 career games in which he's played 50% or more of the snaps. That's 39%. So even when he's like a regular player, you know, playing playing most of the time with this offense, he doesn't go over 13 rushing attempts very often. Last season, during his first like full year as like a, a focal point of this offense, number one running back without Melvin Gordon, last season he hit 14 or more rushing attempts in just 7 out of 16 games, and last year he had a 67% snap share. Last week, he played 51% of the snaps. He did have 15 rushing attempts, but seven of those came after halftime when the Chargers were up by two touchdowns on the Raiders. There's probably more scoring this week in Kansas City. The Chargers will probably need to throw the ball a little bit more. I would anticipate fewer rushing attempts, more receiving production from Austin Eckler this week. And the fourth line here is Meikle Hardman, four receptions. I'm taking the under. He's caught less than four receptions in 13 out of 21 career games, even if you just look at games in which he's played 55% or more of the snaps. He saw 56% snap participation last week. So even if you just, just limit this to like when he's playing most of the time, he's still not hitting this line 
at a very high rate. He averages 3.2 receptions per game when playing at least 55% of the snaps. Last week, he had the fewest snaps and the fewest routes run among himself, Kelsey, Juju Smith-Schuster, and MVS. And despite, like, in his career, he's he's seen his, his average depth of target go down every single season. When he was a rookie, it was like 11.6, then it was like 10.3. Last year, it was like 5.5. Went way down last year. They were throwing him a lot of, like, screens and, you know, jet sweeps and stuff like that. Last week, he had an 8 out of 14.3 was thrown two deep shots. I don't know if that's an indicator of how they're going to be using him all season, but MVS was the guy that they were using in the short game, and Hardman was being thrown deep balls last week. So if that's any indication of how the rest of the season is going to go, like we don't we don't know yet, but that's that's the data point we have is that in week one, he was throwing deep shots. You're less likely to cap- catch a deep shot than you are to catch like a little touch pass on a jet sweep. I like Michael Hardman to go under four receptions this week. And then the last line is Clyde edwards alaire 16 and a half receiving yards. I'm taking the over. Last week, CEH played 27 snaps, which was just under 40% of the Chiefs' total snaps. He ran 18 routes, had three targets, eight carries versus the Raiders. Not great usage, but he didn't even play after eight minutes and 10 seconds left in the third quarter. He had played 55% of the snaps up to that point. He had a 60% touch share at halftime. I think they want to get him involved. Like last year might have been a lost season with the gallbladder thing. He's been pretty disappointing, you know, so far in his career. But I think he's a decent player up to the point where it was like clear that they were just blowing the Cardinals out. Like Clyde edwards helaire was very involved. Pacheco came in in the second half and, and got some work. McKinnon was involved, you know, sprinkled in throughout. But 16 and a half receiving yards is not very many. He could get that on one screen pass. I would anticipate him going over this line with more involvement this week in a more competitive game. Those are my five picks. If you want to you know, kind of honorable mentions. I like Dustin Hopkins to go over one and a half field goals made this week. That was the only line with Matt Gay last week that I didn't hit. Matt Stafford kept taking sacks in field goal range when the, the Bills pass rush was just fucking the Rams. But I like Dustin Hopkins to make more than one field goal this week, so maybe plug that in. I also like MVS to go over three receptions. That's not a very high line. He was he ran the most routes, had the most snaps of any receiver, including Kelsey, on the Chiefs last week. I like MBS to go over three receptions if you want to plug one of those in. But let's make some money. Hopefully we 10x this week. Peace.